Hello, the following video you are about to watch is an extract from my new course and book, Atomic Note-Taking. So enjoy the video, and if you want to check out more about the course, go to atomicnotetaking.com. Can the Zettelkasten be applied to technical books? So as I started to explore the Zettelkasten, um, I found that actually recording sort of technical notes as well to be really useful. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So I started with um, learning DevOps and I would create these uh, a range of notes on various things and while it wasn't true Zettelkast and it could be broken down more into that so for example configuring firewall rules using using Rancher uh, don't worry about the technology here um, and it would be like a tutorial of how uh, to do the thing so as I would do it I document it in my notes and that way I have a reference to a recreate what I did and b figure out what I need to do next um, lots of things on digital ocean uh, I say that but there's actually no notes in here on those I think those are more references um, uh, some so things like bash here how to convert uppercase to lowercase so here's an example where I was doing a uh, an automation and I needed to take a value that was uppercase how do I make it lowercase it's the kind of things you google for and then you want to bring that in as a note so then you can just look it up again um, I did this quite a while ago so it's not the not the cleanest of things um, you might have things uh, such as sort of reasoning and design decisions about how to do things like I needed to figure out how to do semantic versioning for different packages. Um, I've got references to where that was. Now this doesn't necessarily follow the, the fleeting notes to literature notes to permanent notes, um, partly because it's not something that you need to think deeply about. It's technology. Generally it's uh, something that just either works or doesn't. Um, there might be some element of thinking about the right architecture design for something. Um, but yeah, that is one example of where I would use it for technical notes. Another example is um, in my note-taking app. Uh, I've lost it now. Um, where I want to create recipes for things. So I would store this with the source code. I would document uh, small notes about how things work, like the app view, what it is, desktop view, um, outline, uh, a few things here. Uh, obviously I'm fixing typos as I'm seeing this um, so here's the side menu and then so this explains what the side menu is that way I can navigate the code in a much easier way and potentially creating a system which if I need to bring another developer they've got something to understand sort of the design decisions and how it's all put together um, and then I would create these recipes, well, code snippets. So a button menu is a component that shows in place when a button is clicked. So you say click the plus button and you get a menu here. How would I do that? And I can create this, um, copy and paste this into a code. So if I need to do this pattern again, I've got that readily available. So that's another example of where technical notes are really, really handy on a project basis. And then another example is I was learning Blender 3D, and if you're familiar with that, um, there's a tutorial that's quite famous, uh, the Donut tutorial. I followed that um, one Easter and made all these notes, and essentially I'm applying the idea of one atomic idea per note, and I found that really valuable, and this is an area that I think is worthy of exploring more as a concept of how to learn something deeply technical atomically, um, and now I have a basis of um, knowledge that I can refer back to, such as like adding glow. And what I did is I just screenshot the steps um, as I go. And then these can sort of link up to bigger tutorials, like add the glow here, um, add materials here. And this was quite in depth because of all the steps needed. And this was as I was, I was doing it. Um, but in, but they may be a bit simpler as well. And in some cases I would use um, animation. So I've, there's an app on the Mac uh, called GIF Brewery, um, which is great. And I would create these very quick GIF animations uh, that would allow me to very quickly understand what it is I was trying to achieve um, so that if I need to do it again, I just know exactly how it works. Um, I'm trying to think of there's a, 
uh, here's an example. So edge loop select. So very simple to select the edge loop, double click the edges. And I just demonstrate that. And the reason I did that is because now visually I know what an edge loop select does. I don't need to remember the term as exactly or, or question whether it's the right thing. So I'm using a mixture of very quick animations of me doing it, plus a description of what it is um, uh, and all of that. And then, of course, if you look at the graph view, you can see how all this really builds up. So if I have the topic of EV, uh, which is the render engine, um, improving shadows, adding reflections, adding bloom, setting the viewport. So while I jumped into one of those notes on, um, was it the bloom note? Uh, oh, no, it wasn't the bloom note. It, that might not make much sense unless it's in the context of EV. So having these atomic notes um, linked at this level is really great. And of course, if you're learning something and then you want to share your knowledge to somewhere else, this is great because now you've got all this uh, substance in your note taking on that subject that you can go and uh, write tutorials and teach other people how it works. You just layer in, just like writing a blog post, you just layer in all the notes that are relevant and then you just write the narrative and you know, maybe you re-record some of the screenshots so it's one single tutorial, but you don't have to worry about how to explain the, the simpler parts. Um, I find, like as a programmer, I know how programming works, but to teach someone else programming, you have to really break it down and that's quite tiresome in a way so having these notes essentially has done that work. You can apply that to almost any other technology. So this is Blender, it could be video editing, it could be audio engineering, it could be uh, computer programming, all those all those kinds of things. Um, so I found that, that really, really helpful there. So, you know, in short, yes, you absolutely could. Um, so let's say, what would you catch in here? I would say uh, definitions, what things are. So if you need to explain it, if you need to understand it, um, you might have a technology product or a command and you would just want to explain what it is. Um, then if you reference that, you can see in the backlinks every time that you've referenced that thing. So that's very helpful. You can record your own tutorials and how to, how to do stuff. Helps you retrace your steps, that's great. You can use it as a way to problem solve. So you could try and solve it by this method and document that in your notes or another method and document that and then reason about the two methods in its own atomic note, that would be really good. That could then become a blog post, for example. Um, you might have patterns that you want to you want to reuse. So uh, in the example of you know, that button menu, that is a pattern that I want to reuse. Um, another one is force update for, this is just a code snip. I didn't write any notes around that. Um, so various things that you use within your within your your project, um, very helpful there. And of course, any do's and don'ts. So like, do it this way, don't do it that way. Those are great to record because then if you do have a team who join the project, you, you're helping them avoid common pitfalls. So, and that's really helpful as well. So let's look at an example. Um, how would I use my Zettelkast to learn topics such as React, JS, and TypeScript? So React.js is a front-end framework for uh, building web applications and TypeScript is a programming language based on JavaScript. Um, so you might build up the Zettelkasten with the following notes. You might want to talk about React. You might want to talk about TypeScript. So two isolated things. Then you might say installing React, installing TypeScript. Then you might have a hello world in React written in TypeScript, for example. And then you might want to say input forms in React, submitting data to React from React to a TypeScript server, how to show a dialogue in React, how to save the database to the database using TypeScript and MongoDB. So if you are learning program, if you're learning something new, creating these little mini quests is really good. I'm a big believer that uh, goal-oriented projects are amazing for learning. It's how I learn all my skills. And what you do is you, you take the course material, but you create your own pathway. You say, okay, here's that knowledge from that tutorial, great, but I wanna now do something completely different using that knowledge. And that really tests your understanding. And quite frankly, if you can do that, then you've pretty much learned the technology, you've learned how to program, uh, rather than just repeating what others have already created. So that's an example of how I would use um, the Zettelkasten for technical notes, basically.